Okay, so this is example 1.10 on page 30 and 31 of our textbook. And here we're going to be doing another unit conversion, but this time we're going to be using density as a conversion factor. So the problem states, a jet is fueled with 100,073, 231 liters of jet fuel. The density of the fuel is 0 0.768 grams per centimeter cubed. What is the mass of the fuel in kilograms? So here's what we're given. Here's what we're trying to find. And I have already written here some conversion factors that we're going to be using. So I'll go through how I got these um, for the problem. So we know we're trying to get from liters to kilograms. So um, we're going to do that by using our density, which is already a given unit conversion. So that's why I have it written here down below. So that density is going to allow us to relate the mass and volume in this problem. But notice our volume for the density is in units of centimeters cubed. So that means I'm going to need to relate that to our liter volume. I'm going to use this equation again. One mil is equal to one centimeter cubed. And we know we can relate milliliters to liters um, using our prefixes um, from table 1.2. So we know that one mil is the same as 10 to the negative third liters. One other conversion factor that we're going to need is once we cancel out all the volumes, we're going to be left in units of grams, but the problem is asking us for units in kilograms. So if we look at our prefixes in table 1.2 again, Kilogram is the same as 10 to the third grams. Remember, you apply that um, 10 to the whatever power number to the base unit, which in this case is grams. So one kilogram is 10 to the, th 10 to the third grams, or another way to think about it, 1,000 grams is equal to one kilogram. However you want to write it, doesn't matter. So. In this problem, remember, our given is our volume, very large volume, because jets have very large um, fuel tanks. And we're trying to find the mass of that in kilograms. So starting out looking for something in kilograms, and I'm given my volume in oops, liters. There we go. <coughs> so first things first, the only conversion factor that I have up here that relates anything to liters is this first guy. One mil is equal to 10 to the negative third liters. So first we're going to have to go from liters to mils, then mils to centimeter cubed, and then we'll go from there. So remember, what you want to cancel goes on the bottom. 10 to the negative third liter. What you're trying to get to goes on top, which is one milliliter. So liters are going to cancel here. And now, now that we're in units of milliliters, we can use the second conversion, but one mil is equal to one centimeter cubed to get from mils to centimeters cubed. So one milliliter is equal to one centimeter cubed. That's going to cancel the milliliter unit. Now I have centimeters cubed. The only conversion factor up written up at the top that I have that relates anything to centimeters cubed is this density. So density is typically in units per volume. In this case, it's grams per centimeter cubed. And we can actually use this to help us cancel out our volume unit and just be left with mass. So we can use it like any of the other equivalencies we have. We can put one number on top and one on bottom, one unit top, one unit bottom. Depending on what you're trying to cancel, that tells you what unit you put on the bottom. So in this case, we're trying to cancel centimeters cubed, 
So centimeters cubed here <coughs> is going to go on the bottom. Now, you don't necessarily see a number associated with this, and that's because that centimeter cubed at the bottom is kind of like an understood one. There's no number in front of it, it's understood that it's just one. So another way of writing this density is 0 0.768 grams per one centimeter cubed. And we can flip that depending on what we're trying to cancel in our problem. So since centimeters cubed is already on the bottom, that's what we want to cancel. We're just going to write one centimeter cubed here. And on top is the 0 0.768 grams. So that means centimeters cubed is going to cancel. And we're almost done with the problem. Now we're in units of mass, which is really important because the problem is asking us for mass of fuel. Last thing we need to do is use this conversion factor here to get from grams to kilograms. So this is just changing our mass unit from the base unit to one with a power. So <coughs> what we want to cancel goes on the bottom, 10 to the third grams, and what we are trying to get to goes on top, one kilogram. So then grams cancel. I'm left with kilograms, that's what I'm looking for. So to solve this problem, last thing we need to do is multiply all my numbers on top. So first one times one times one times 0.768 times one should give us, gives us 133041.4. And then on the bottom, it's going to be 10 to the negative third times 1 times 1 times 10 to the third. Which, if you type all that into your calculator, 10 to the negative third times 10 to the third, it ends up just giving you 1. Remember, on top we have our unit of kilogram. So, last thing we need to figure out is... <clears throat> The number of sig figs here. So we have two numbers written in our problem. We have this 173231, that's got six sig figs. And then we have the density, which is 0 0.768, which has just three sig figs. So that's what I'm going to use to figure out the number of significant digits in my answer. Um, and to prevent ambiguity, I'm going to go ahead and write this in scientific notation. So 133, that's going to be our last digit. We move our decimal over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's going to be 1.33 times 10 to the fifth kilograms. And that is your final answer.